Single, like I said yesterday, we're just going to get deeper and deeper into the low single. Then we'll go, then we'll go single leg and get deeper and deeper into single leg, high crotch, and we'll just get as far as we can. Like I said, if we keep up the pace we got right now, we're going to get to a ton of technique today. All right, but again, asking questions, staying engaged. Now we're going to talk about low single. All right, most of it's going to be to the far side. If I go to the near side on my low single defense, I usually only want to rip. All right, we can try to pass there, but the problematic part of passing to the near side is his ankle's usually up under his butt. So he low singles and he beats me right here. Passing that leg's pretty tough. All right, one small detail that I really didn't talk about yesterday and I did it on purpose, spin 90, is when I dive and attack the far ankle, so I jam, slide, and dive, what I didn't talk about is using this foot to free my foot under attack if I don't, don't get it free when I jump. So if I jam slide and dive and end up out here and I have his leg but he kind of drops down, this foot can attack his armpit and get my, get my foot back that's under attack. But the reason why I didn't make a big deal about it yesterday is we have a tendency to get our feet real close together in scrambles if it's not real fresh in our brain and this isn't good for me ever having my feet close together in a scramble, okay? But I want you to know that if he does shoot that low single and beat me, and I jam slide and I do everything right, and he just kind of drops his chest on my foot and beats me here a little bit, I'm not out of the, I'm not, I'm not in a bad spot because I have his far ankle. Like I said, we'll get into far ankle stuff today. This is your safety net. He can't turn and face me if I have his far ankle. Then this foot that never hit the ground just finds the back of his armpit right here and I just push it away, kick and get my feet back up under me and then I'm back to the same position. So if you ever get jammed up there, just use your opposite foot to free your other leg, but don't leave them together too long. They'll swim over the top and attack both of them. All right, that's usually the only other kind of tactic that we use to the near side. Now the far side, we have a lot of stuff, okay? So we're going to take that angle step, hip pull, and again, I'm trying to crunch, just, just let me crunch up, I'm trying to crunch this guy into a tight ball. That's what I'm trying to do when I pull his hip, all right, and jam with my knee and cover his head. He can't generate a lot of power like this. He's got to be stretched out to some extent so he, can, so he can move and change direction. So that's what I'm trying to do when I take this angle step and hip pull. So I'm taking the angle step, hip pull, and I'm crunching. Now, we're going to get two reactions from this guy for the most part. Knee will be down because we pulled and crunched real good, or knee will be up, okay? If the knee's up, it's gonna be real simple. I'm gonna take both my hands and just lock right behind his knee. So I'm pulling the hip. Notice my chest is real far away from his back, okay? I'm pulling the hip. If his drive leg stays up, I come off the hip, tack behind the knee, and I lift, and then go bend to the elbow, bend to the knee, all right? Then my opposite hand, is going to attack his armpit, and I'm going to take him straight over his head and slap the mat right here. Notice my head and chest never dropped. I'm in this hurdle stretch position. I just get my heels back to my butt, and I want both hands in between his legs. Now, you watch Penn State wrestle a good bit. They're probably one of the programs that split guys more than anybody. All right? Notice he stayed upside down. I stayed upright, and I'm sitting up in between his legs. Okay? Let's call this kind of sit and split. We can split them in a bunch of different positions, but this is probably the best position to learn this from. Now, we'll cradle this guy and we'll do a bunch of stuff from here, but right now all I want you to do is focus on splitting this guy, okay? And we can do it from other leg attack positions. Angle step, hip pull, crunch. Now, my second, second look I might get is I might crunch him down to both knees. Nothing wrong with this, but if he's on both knees, sometimes it's a little tougher to go behind and just lift. I like attacking the ankle, okay? Because when I attack the ankle right here, it's tough for him to circle around and get behind me. So if he's trying to circle and finish like a single leg, as he circles and I have his foot, his leg's getting what? And we know when his leg gets straight, he gets what? Light. Light. So then I can just reach down and pick it up, okay? Again, bend to the elbow, bend to the knee, far hand to the far armpit, and I'm crunching down, taking him straight over his head. When he's upside down, I post. My head and chest stay up. See how his foot's trapped in my armpit? I bring my heels to my butt, and I just circle to between his legs. If he stays on my foot, if he stays on my foot right here and just won't let go, which is a bold strategy, just come up under his head and find his armpit, okay? 
we'll get it back pretty easy. And then again, heels are under my butt, hands are in between my legs, or hands are in between his legs. All right, so two options. Go through them real quick again. All right, low single, angle step, hip pull. Leg stays up, lock behind, lift. Bend to the elbow, bend to the knee. Opposite hand, armpit, and I'm crunching him down, taking him over. When he's upside down, post. I just let him fall, heels to my butt, both hands in. Now when we get here, this is important. I want to crowd with my belt buckle and I want my knees wide. Whatever direction he turns, I'm finding bottom shoulder right here. I'm trying to get back points. I'm making that guy work. Worst case scenario, we end up getting a Turk or something like that. Okay, knee goes to the mat. We got to do a little bit more work. Angle step, hip pull, crunch, crunch. Okay, outside hand to the sole. Notice my knee's under my body. I'm in pretty good athletic position here. It's not back. Okay, it's under my body, toes in the mat. Tack the sole, windshield wiper it out. Hip hand comes up under to the hamstring and I'm just lifting. Right here, bend to the elbow, bend to the knee, back to the armpit, crunch. Taking them straight over my leg. Post, heels to my butt, both arms in. Okay, go that slow when you drill it. Low single, far side, sit and split, go. Let's get it.